Hi, I'm Robert Strohecker from Strohecker Vision Care in Mansfield, Pennsylvania. Today I'd like to talk to you about astigmatism, what it is, and the types of correction that are available for this condition. So what is astigmatism? In its simplest form, astigmatism is an off-round surface on the front of the eye that creates blur at both distance and near. Let me demonstrate this to you. This would be an example of an eye without astigmatism. In any direction that I move, there is the same curvature. Conversely, an eye that has astigmatism would be shaped more like this. A steeper curvature in the vertical meridian and a flatter curvature in the horizontal meridian. Now, it doesn't have to be in the horizontal and vertical. It can be anywhere along the clock face as where, you know, where the curvature is different. Those two curvatures cause two points of focus in the back of the eye and the eye has, is not able to correct for those two blur circles in the, in the back of the eye. The other easy way to explain these two points of focus is with a ray diagram. Let's go back to the computer here and here's a, here's a model cut in half of the, of, the, uh, of the eye. All the light that we see with hits the front of the eye, the cornea, as we demonstrated with our prop, the elephant eye, passes through the cornea, through the cornea, through the pupil, which is the hole, through the natural lens of the eye, and then is focused on the back of the eye. In an eye with astigmatism, the ray diagram would look like this. You'd have one point of focus maybe, in theory, here behind the retina, which in essence would be a blur circle here right at the retina, and maybe another one right here in front of the retina. These two points of focus, as we've discussed, create blur at both distance and near. So why are corneas shaped differently? Why does someone necessarily have astigmatism? Uh, again, we don't really know necessarily cause, but we know certain uh, races are more prone to having astigmatism. Some of that may be, for example, Eskimos we know have higher amounts of astigmatism. And sometimes that's thought about, thought of because of the squinting that's done, you know, up in the snow and those kinds of types of things. People that rub their eyes a lot, we know that it sometimes leads to the creation of astigmatism. Astigmatism is very common. Um, it's as common as nearsightedness or farsightedness. It can occur all by itself, or it can actually occur in combination with nearsightedness and farsightedness as well. And we can use either glasses or contact lenses in a softer, rigid form, or now a new combination lens called a synergize lens, which has both a hard middle and a soft skirt to correct for these two points of focus, making a single image right on the retina in the back of the eye. So we've talked about the correction of stigmatism using glasses, contact lenses. There are surgical options as well. There's PRK, photorefractive keratectomy, where it's a lasering of the front surface of the eye. Or there's LASIK as well, which is the creation of the flap, lifting that, treating it with laser underneath and bringing the flap back down surgical procedures for correcting astigmatism. Now we've talked about corneal astigmatism up to this point. There is one other type of astigmatism that's more rare and less commonly uh, seen, and it's called lenticular astigmatism. It's in the natural lens of the eye, right here, right behind the pupil, okay? And with that, we need to use, we only can do two things. We can either use glasses to correct for it or we can use a hard lens with a toric surface, a two-curved surface, cut on the front of the lens. Most soft lenses will not correct lenticular astigmatism very well, especially if, if it is of any significant magnitude or, or power. If it's a higher power, it becomes very difficult to correct that with any soft design at all. Glasses correct astigmatism relatively easily by having two surfaces cut on the back surface of the lens of the glasses. These two curvatures then are really in a mirror image of the front of the eye. And by doing this, they make a single point of focus on the back of the eye. Contact lenses are, are similar in that a soft toric contact lens has two power curvatures cut on the back surface of that lens equal to the amount of astigmatism on the surface of the, of the eye. And a rigid lens actually has only one curvature, but it flat, floats on the flat curvature and has tears filling in behind it 
to give us the rest of the refracting power in that type of correction. The combination lens, the synergized lens, uses the rigid center with the tear layer in the middle and then a soft skirt to give stability and comfort in the periphery of that lens. I guess the question is, is how common is astigmatism? Well, it's, it's very common. I would say well over half our patients have astigmatism. It's something that's very common and quite correctable and something that uh, hopefully you're a little more informed of now that you watch this video. The other place you can go to find a little more information about astigmatism is to our website at stroheckervision.com. Once inside it, our, our website, pull to the bottom of the page, click on Imaginations videos, hit the I agree button, click on refractive errors, and there you'll find some descriptions on astigmatism as to cause and effect. <laughs>